Hey, what's up sports bettors? It's Matt Modi with Odds Jam, and what we're gonna do in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about prize picks and how their odds are different than odds from any other sports book, whether you're using DraftKings, Caesars, FanDuel, BetMGM, no matter what, um, <clears throat> the odds from those sports books are going to differ from the odds that you can get from prize picks when you're doing entries. I should say the implied odds from using prize picks. Um, Alex Monahan, the co-founder of Odds Jam, made this pretty awesome spreadsheet to just break down the implied odds of each individual entry, depending on how many you have, how many legs you have in an entry. And he has it broken down right here. A two leg entry has the odds of plus 200, which has the implied odds of each individual leg at minus 137. And we can see here using the Odds Jam uh, parlay calculator, if I just type in minus 137 twice on here, we'll see that the parlay odds of this are roughly plus 200, uh, plus 199, which is close enough. Um, and if I go to prize picks and I add any two entries, let's say Curry and Tatum, I think they're both gonna go off tonight. Let me add both of their overs. We can see just if I do a $10 entry, cause that's the easiest to understand, $10 to win 30, which means I get my $10 back and then I profit $20, which means the odds are plus 200. Now for a three leg entry, the odds on that are plus 400, which has the implied odds of minus 141. So if I go back to the parlay calculator from Odd Jam, type in minus 141 on three different legs, we see now that the parlay odds are roughly plus 400, which again is exactly what it says in the spreadsheet here. So let's say, you know what? I think Curry and Tatum are gonna go off. I think that Jalen Brown is not gonna go off. I'm gonna add, add his under to my entry, another leg. Now it's $10 to win 50, which means that if you take out my $10 in risk, I am profiting $40 for every $10 spent, which is plus 400 odds. Now for the next one, which is a four leg entry, it has the implied odds of plus 900, which is uh, a pri an implied odds on prize picks of minus 128 for each individual leg. So again, I will show you how this works. So if I type in minus 128, and we see here the implied odds of roughly plus 100, plus 906 rounds down roughly to plus 900. So again, prize picks, let's say, you know what? I think Curry's gonna not only go off in points, I also think he's gonna go off on assists. So as you can see, adding Curry, adding a fourth leg to this entry now makes it $10 to win $100. So again, you remove the $10 of risk that makes it plus 900. For every $10 risked, you will make $90. Excuse me, yeah, so, so plus 900. Which is interesting that Price Picks does it how every single leg, no matter what, no, every single entry, no matter what, is gonna give you these exact implied odds. Every two leg entry, no matter what two legs you enter, are always gonna be plus 200. Always, no matter what, 100% of the time. Same thing with a three leg entry at plus 400 and a four leg entry of plus 900. So that means, again, no matter what plays you're adding, if you're doing a two leg entry, the implied odds for each one of those plays is always gonna be minus 137 for a two leg, minus 141 for a three leg, and minus 128 for a four leg. Now, of course, if we compare this to what sports books have odds priced at, so let's just go to the NBA, go to player props, go to points, on DraftKings, and let's say I wanna do the same two leg entry that I initially had here. So I'm gonna remove Curry assists, I'm gonna move Jalen Brown points, and I'm just gonna have Curry and Tatum going over their projected point total. Curry over 28 and a half, Tatum over 27 and a half. Let's add this into a same game parlay, and now I'm gonna do points. So I want Curry to, or it was Jason Tatum to score over 27 and a half, and now I want to get Steph Curry to go over 28 and a half. We see the implied odds here are actually plus 245. So you're actually, if you want to parlay these together, you're getting better odds on DraftKings. Now let's go to FanDuel. Let's see what the implied odds there are on FanDuel. So again, I want to go to same game parlay. I want to go to player points, Curry over 28 and a half, Tatum over 27 and a half. Here, the implied odds are plus 220. So again, you're still getting more favorable odds than what Prize Picks has, but you can see the difference on DraftKings and FanDuel. FanDuel has it at plus 220. FanDuel has it at plus 220. DraftKings has it at plus 245. 
But if I add different legs to this parlay, so let's say I actually, you know what, I'm going to take Wiggins over instead. These odds now change to plus 230. But if I'm using prize picks and I go to points and I add Wiggins, I remove Curry, I take his over, it's still at plus 200. So it's pretty fascinating to me that you can have that prize picks the way they have, they have their implied odds be the same no matter what legs you're using. What this means is that you can find profitable legs that have inherently greater odds than minus 137. And if you combine those into an entry, whether two, three, four legs, if you're continually finding player picks that have implied odds greater than minus 137, so essentially one minus 138 and higher, minus 140 and above, then you're finding mathematically profitable picks to add to a prize pick selection. And here I have a two pick entry to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I have a player prop strikeout two leg entry here, Ian Anderson over four and a half strikeouts and Reed Detmers over three and a half strikeouts. So first let's look at Ian Anderson. So we know that the implied odds on prize picks for an entry is minus 137 for a two leg entry, minus 137. Looking at FanDuel, it looks like they have this priced at minus 230 odds. That is almost a full 100 cent difference between what the implied odds of prize picks and what FanDuel, one of the sharper sports books out there, has this priced at. Even if you look at the Oz Jam line, which is the sharpest sports book in the world, pulled from the sharpest line in the world, has it at minus 198. So this minus 137 implied odds on prize picks is really, really valuable. So that's step one. Ian Anderson is the first play. The next one, as I mentioned, is Reed Detmers to go over three and a half strikeouts. So if I look at the implied odds here, again, prize picks has it, we know, at minus 137. The odds jam line, which is again pulled from the sharpest line in the world, has this at minus 177. The FanDuel line, again, uh, one of the sharper sports book out there, has this priced a little bit higher, but still higher, at minus 138. So this two leg entry on prize picks, we know is plus 200 odds. $10 entry to win $30. Well, if I combine these two plays in a parlay on FanDuel, we see the implied odds, or the odds, not implied, the odds are at plus 147. This shows that using prize picks on that two leg entry has much, much better odds using it on prize picks thanks to their implied odds than a sports book like FanDuel. Or if I had combined them on DraftKings as well, it would not have been a profitable play. So this is exactly a to highlight the difference between FanDuel, DraftKings, other sports books, and Prize Picks, and about how they price odds, and then also how you can use a tool like Odds Jam to identify profitable plays to take using the Prize Picks two leg entry system. If you want to add a third leg, the process is the exact same. You just scroll through the odds, you find situations in which this minus one thirty seven implied odds. Although for a two leg entry, it's minus 141. So the odds are a little bit higher for a three leg one. But for a three leg entry, minus 141. For a four leg entry, minus 128. Regardless, no matter how many legs you're adding into the entry, you need to make sure that the applied odds of that individual play are greater than minus 137 or whatever the leg entry you have. And that's how you can identify profitable plays to add into entries using price pick. So let's lock this one in. Let's go ahead and lock in this two leg entry that I found using Ajdam, knowing that it's mathematically profitable. Entry has successfully been submitted. Perfect. But overall, this is the process you can use to identify mathematically profitable plays to add for prize picks entries. And more importantly, how the odds are different from prize picks on from different sports books, right? Prize picks, no matter what, is always going to have the same exact implied odds of an entry, whereas each sports book is going to have them priced differently, which means that you can use price picks to identify good plays using the process that I just talked about. So if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you could actually click the like button or comment. Let me know your feedback there as well. Other than that, I would appreciate if you could subscribe to the Ajdam YouTube channel. But that is all I got for you. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one.